The more hits we play, the more hits we get. URLradio.net. Stacey Sturm and another Financial Friday here with our financial gurus, Legacy Financial Partners, and Megan Linares is in the studio again today. How's it going, Megan? Good, Stacey. How are you this morning? Good, good. Now, I really loved our talk last week where we talked about like real life situations, Mm -hmm. mainly my situation. Right. But (laughs) that's the one we know best. (laughs) That's the only one I can attest for. But let's talk about some more case studies. So what are are you looking at today? Um, Today I'm thinking about someone who's probably in their mid-60s, right? So we probably know... Close to retirement age. Yep. Should be close to retirement age. Right, right. So like... Like we were thinking, you know, maybe 30 some years for me, maybe 20 some years for you. Like mm-hmm. it feels far away, right? But yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of folks out there who are in that chapter of their lives right now. So that's where I'd like to focus today. Okay. Yeah. So who do we have in their 60s? Um, today I'm kind of thinking about Julie. She's okay. um, She hasn't retired yet, um, but... Her spouse is looking at retiring. She's looking at retiring. A couple of her best friends have retired. And so I know this is like a millennial or a Gen Z phrase, but she's got some FOMO, right? She's got some fear <laughs> of missing out. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and, yeah. and like we talked about um, with our with our younger Sarah last week, um, you know, time is your biggest asset. So, mm-hmm. you know, when you're in your mid-30s, it feels like forever until the end of your career. And now you're if you're Julie you're looking at this from well my career is over and and now I've used all the time I have when yeah. in reality she probably still has another 20 to 30 years yeah and that's a lot of time yeah right like that is a lot of time so um, it is still your biggest asset even at 60 in, in your mid 60s um, and I think that's something that gets lost a little bit when folks talk about the retirement conversation well I think retirement back in the day was like people were, I mean, it sounds bad, but they were dying earlier Mm -hmm. and they, I think they basically just kind of did what their parents did, what their grandparents did. And they would just go into an old folks home and young, I met people now though in their sixties and seventies, they do way more than I do. They travel more. Mm -hmm. They, they go to more exercise classes. Yeah. <laughs> like, like they're partying it up. They're yeah. Like margaritas at noon. I'm yeah. Like, well, how are you <laughs> guys <laughs> drinking margaritas at noon? <laughs> Who has time for that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they're way more active in retirement than ever before. So Yeah, because there might be this feeling of... I committed so much of my life to mm-hmm. my job or, you know, starting a business in, yeah. or two or three in your case, you know, <laughs> yes. like <laughs> yeah. I've done all this and I've worked really hard and now I get to play. Right. Yeah. So there's, there's a lot of the, you know, FOMO is a young person's phrase, but it, it affects all of us. Right. Then, and, and we have a limited amount of time. So once we retire, it's kind of like we throw on our party hats and we start running around and, and, what I what I want to focus on is is kind of this idea that even when you start thinking about retiring or you start seeing the folks in your life retire, um, recognizing that there's always this question of, well, what if the other shoe drops? What if there's this huge market correction and everything I've saved goes to zero, yeah. right? And everything I've worked for <clears throat> goes, goes to nothing. Yeah, absolutely. And... This is where I want to go back and say, okay, but we're really just at the start of another 20 to 30 year chapter for you, right? Yeah. And and with that in mind, we work to set up your hard work in a way that you can have fun, you can throw on your party hat and not stress about it too much. And mm-hmm. so it's like... I I always want to frame the expectation of when we put money to work for you, especially in the stock market, you're in, in every five years, you're likely to get some combination of one year that's really, really down one year that's flat and three years that are positive. We don't know the order that they come in. We don't know how big or little those downs and ups may be, Mm -hmm. but like to really frame it as we set it up so that you should, should, you know, stuff hit the fan the day you retire. Yeah. It's set up in a way that you can still put on your party hat. Right. And, and look at this as, yep, this was, this was bad timing, but you are in a position where it's not the end of the world. And that's, that's what we really want to help 
folks see when they're at this point is it's the start of a new chapter. You have a lot of time. And if stuff does hit the fan right away, it's okay. We can recover from that. Um, and, and so that's where this conversation gets really interesting because, because now my two year old is 22 and now she's looking at all these other parts of her life and, and the conversation that we're having when I'm, in my sixties and she's yeah. in her twenties or thirties, you know, it, it's very different. So <laughs> it's this great new chapter. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. 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 So if people have any questions about like, if they're in their thirties, if they're in their forties, if they're in their sixties, um, how can I get a hold of you, Megan, to see what might be best for their next, next chapter of life? Sure. Um, well, the, the power of the internet says that you can reach me via email. That's the best way. Um, cause you find me whether I'm in the office or not. Um, so that'll be my first name dot last name at, uh, Meriprise.com, Megan dot Lenars at ampf.com. Um, I'm on LinkedIn as well. And my website is ameriprizeadvisors.com. Uh, slash Megan dot Lenars. So you can, you can find out more there, but you know, it's, it's really this, it's great to have a conversation about where you are and whether it's with me or with anybody else, we're here to be resources for you. So our conversations free, like, can I just come in and just not get all my financial planning done, but say, Hey, you know, what would it take? Um, we do kind of like, just give me an idea um, like a free estimate. I don't know how to even see that. That's free a free estimate. Yeah. That is kind of a great way to look at it. So, um, we offer what are called complimentary consultations, right? Complimentary consultations. Right. So, That's what I was but thinking. yeah, but you're I like a free windshield. estimate. You're better. not a windshield company. <laughs> but I like free estimate better. It gets the idea across. Um, oh. and so depending on which advisor you talk to, some of them will give you, um, I, I kind of like to freehand draw it with with folks so that they can mm-hmm. see how I'm how I get to the numbers um, in their situation. Um, other folks will walk you through a computer program. Other folks will, um, you know, kind of do some just a quick snapshot of tell me what you own, tell me what you owe, and tell me what your goals are, and you know, kind of give you a knee jerk reaction of yeah. well, will it work, will it not? Um, but Yes, we free estimates free in estimates. our world are called complimentary consultations, <laughs> and Perfect. and yep, they're very easy to set up. So okay. um, with any one of our team that are doing these calls, um, we can all be found um, in our main office here in downtown Bismarck and through our emails and all that. But um, you know, call and ask for any one of us; we'd be happy to walk through that with you. And my style's written because I. I'm a pen and paper kind of gal, but, <laughs> but, uh, other folks will use, we'll use more tech and, and I use tech on the backside. <laughs> awesome. Well, mm-hmm. thanks for being on with us today, Megan. Yeah. Thanks Stacy. Appreciate it. And you're listening to financial Friday on URLradio.net. Mm-hmm.